Hello, this is Jürgen from Netronix Software. I'm a member of the developer team that is responsible for the base software layer that is used by Netronic for the HTML5 projects and products. This video is intended for software developers who want to integrate our visual scaling widget to their own web application. I will introduce our model for resource planning, uh, which is the basic concept of our widget. It's important to understand this model because as a software developer you have to map your own data model to the model of our widget. So let's start with the main object types of this model. In the field of resource planning, of course, resources play an important role. A uh, resource can be a machine, a tool, or a person. And as you can see here, um, resources can be nested. This way you can express a semantic, for example, of departments. Think about a couple of drilling machines and all these machines can be part of a work uh, center that is called the drilling machine department. Now, another important object type are activities. Activities are all things that have to be done by resources. Uh, an activity could be, for example, in the field of project management, a task or the subtasks. Or in the field of production, an activity can be a production job and uh, the operations of a job. And same as with resources, activities can be nested as well. And uh, important properties of activities are start and end dates. The objective of resource planning is the assignment of resources to activities or vice versa, the assignment of activities to resources. In our model, this is achieved by objects of the type allocation. Each allocation can have a reference to an activity and as well a reference to a resource. And you can create multiple allocations with reference to the same activity or with the reference to the same uh, resource. This way you can design the situation where multiple resources are assigned to an activity or where multiple activities are assigned to a resource. Each allocation has a set of allocation entries and each entry has a start date and an end date. To get realistic schedules it's essential to work with calendars and as you already know from allocations also calendars have a set of calendar entries and each calendar entry has a start date and an end date and in addition we can define a time type to specify whether this calendar entry defines a working or a non-working time. Resources can have references to calendars but also activities can have references to calendars. The reason for that is the following. For example in project management in the first step you design your activities, you specify the relationships between the activities, but you do not assign resources. But nevertheless, it may be that you are interested, for example, in the base calendar that is valid for the entire company. So, this is the reason why we can reference calendars from activities. The next important type of our model is the link object type. Links represent relationships between activities. So each link has a reference to a source activity and a reference to a target activity. And in addition, we have the relation 
uh, type property to define whether the link represents a standard end start relationship or for example a start start relationship and so on. So far we have seen the most important object types but of course the model is more complex. So for example we have the option to define curves for resources. A resource can have a capacity curve and it can have a load curve and each curve has a set of point entries and each entry has a point in time and the corresponding value. Further, you can define symbols, you can define the appearance of the table rows, you can define date lines or you can define tooltip templates. As you can see, our model not only provides types for modeling uh, parts of the pure business logic, but it also provides types for specifying the presentation or the look and feel of the resulting gun charts. And if you're interested in more details, please download the visual scheduling widget and go to the docs folder. There you will find a document describing the resource planning model and you will find uh, the interface definition document uh, which uh, describes the API. Finally, let's talk about the mapping of the model objects to presentations inside a gun chart. For this, we go back to one of the first slides and we remember that the anchor objects of our model are the resources, the activities and in between the allocations. And now the question is how can we map these objects of the different types to presentations inside a gun chart. And for this we can go to the demo application of the visual scaling widget. You will get this demo application if you download the visual scaling widget. And when you start this application, you see at first a view, we call it the resources view. In this view, we have the resources listed in the table part. And here you see that some of the resources are nested. And in the diagram part, we see the allocations. Uh, and um, there are different colors in the, uh, in the allocations. For example, here we have a red part, a dark blue part and a light blue part. And these different areas are the allocation entries of this allocation. And we see that each resource has multiple allocations inside, uh, assigned in this diagram. And the demo application offers another view, we call it the activities view. And in this view we see in the table part the activities and in the diagram part there we will find the, uh, the activities. And in contrast to, uh, to the resources view, in this view we see only one bar per row. And to summarize we can say that in the resources view the bars represent the allocations and in the activities view the bars represent the activities.